My name is Avi, I'm from Canada, and uh, I've been in Taipei for six weeks. I'm a captain on 777 with China Airlines. Sure, I've been flying for 25 years. My last airline was Emirates for seven and a half years, and before that I was at WestJet Airlines back in Canada, and I was at uh, Canada 3000. I was flying the Airbus 340, 320, and then I flew with uh, Canadian North and Canadian Regional Airlines uh, Fokker 28 jets. Uh, I enjoyed my time at Emirates, but um, I was not seeing, my, my reason for leaving was mainly personal. I wasn't seeing my family that often, and China Airlines offered a very flexible schedule to get back to Los Angeles where my family is. So um, I had heard they were recruiting for 777 captains, so my main reason was to come over here, establish a good job here where I can get home to Los Angeles to see my, my family. Eight days at home with two vacation days added, so ten days I'll I can get home and I'm trying to see if they have this uh, ELO base, extended leave off base, where I can operate a flight into LA and then operate out of LA. So I'll get 10 actual days at home with my family. The training is really good, really relaxed. The instructors have been really, really helpful. Uh, and the people in Taiwan, very friendly. Uh, everybody says good morning, thank you, and it's probably the friendliest place I've been so far. They put us in a really nice Novotel hotel next door, so I have a room there, uh, paid for by China Airlines under my training. Uh, training is, uh, we're in a short course. It's about two months long, so the, the combination has been good, the food is good. They've got a gym and a swimming pool over there, so it's been really good. It just seems it's a very comfortable uh, environment over here, and I would recommend it if you really want to have a good, balanced career and a home life, I would recommend China Airlines. My name is Anil. I'm from India, and I've been flying in China Airlines for the last one year. Um, I was flying in Indonesia for the last three years before this company. I've been uh, flying the Boeing 737-400, the classic rig, and I've been doing that for three years, which is a, it gives me about 2,500 hours experience. When I met the requirements for China Airlines, then I moved over, and I'm lucky enough to get here, get in here. The contract with China Airlines provides the expats. It's very good, actually. You won't find it find a better contract in the Middle East or somewhere in Europe. Uh, because I hold a JAA license, it's, it's much easier for me to go around anywhere in the world. So. I would prefer to stay somewhere which, is, which has nice weather and a uh, good contract, get my days off. That's the best most important thing. Close home, yeah, exactly. They're pretty straightforward. They're very fair with the screening process. Uh, for example, with the simulator, even if you make one small mistake, they'll give you a second chance. They'll tell you what the mistake was and they'll give you a second chance. Most of the airlines, they don't do that. So it's very fair and it's pretty straightforward. They do verify your backgrounds, so uh, you can't lie or anything like that with the screening process. Every, apart from that, if you are a pilot, good pilot and good attitude, you can get in very easily. After joining in China Airlines, the CRM here is perfect, it's excellent. Like, uh, there are a lot of captains who are very nice to me. I've flown with most of, almost every one of them, and the CRM is per excellent here. And I don't feel any peer pressure of like, uh, doing anything wrong or something like that, which happens a lot in Indonesia. But here, uh, everything is so far really good. That's one of the reasons I joined China Airlines as well. Because um, once I finish the contract, I'm hoping that I'll get the upgrade position. Even during the interview, they mentioned that. So if you agree with all the terms and conditions and if your performance is good enough, then they will upgrade you. Um, I would prefer to be a captain first because the larger I captain, I can move on later on as, yeah. as, my pro as my progress my career in this company. And I wouldn't want to leave this company, so I, I'm trying to stay here. The only problem here is like the expats, because of the immigration law, you can only get a three-year contract. But they will extend your contract because I have no captain who has been here for 15 years, 10 years almost, and there are Indonesians and a mix of expat community here. So I met four captains yesterday and they're from Emirates. Mm -hmm. So they're joining from Emirates, Qatar to China Airlines because of the contract, which is uh, like the eight days off. Because people now, they want to spend more time with the family rather than, you know, money oriented. Even though the salary in the Middle East is much more, uh, like probably about 20% more. Yeah, but, but the expenses are also, very also high. there. Yeah, but here the living cost is pretty much cheaper compared to the Middle East, and we have this expat community, so we all get along. We all hang out together sometimes, 
and because some of the expats they have extended layover in uh, the hotel so whenever we after the flight we want to catch them catch up with them we we'll just go there and meet them so it's like a family here the people are very friendly for example uh, i went to the mrt the other day and even though the guy can't speak english very well he tried to help me he took me to a person who can speak english and then after after finding that person he left me so he made sure that I went to the place where I was supposed to get there. I have my wife here. Um, as soon as I finished my training, I asked the company to help me bring her here. And they showed me the, the documents required for the visa. And it was smooth, just one week and she got the visa and she was here. Um, the benefits would be the food. <laughs> she loves the food here, the uh, night markets. And as I, as I told you, there's a lot of, uh, she's Indonesian, so there's a lot of Indonesian people here as well. So she can find their own community here. You have international schools and you have uh, type, uh, Taiwanese local schools as well. So if, you're if you want your children to learn Mandarin, it's much more better to send them to your local schools. And I think learning Mandarin is an advantage for the future as well. Yeah. There's a couple of captains. Uh, one is from America, but he's Italian-American, and his wife is American. And their kids they go to a school here in Taiwan. And also there's an Indonesian captain, he's an instructor here. Uh, his kids, he has two kids, and they both go to the schools here. And the captains in the white body, like in the 747 or the 777, they prefer to stay, they put their base in the uh, US or in Canada. Uh, and uh, some of the captains in the 74, who is from Europe, they have their base in Amsterdam as well. So it's good for them, like uh, they can go eight days back every month, eight consecutive days off. So they, can, they don't miss their family actually, <laughs> which is good. My name is uh, Eitel Avila. I'm a Brazilian, 40 years old, and I've been flying for the past 20 years. 13 years as an expatriate, and this is my China Airlines is my third expatriate company. I'm currently a captain on the 777 fleet. I'm uh, undergoing training as a direct entry captain for China Airlines. Uh, previously, I've flown for five different airlines. I started off as an MD-11 first officer, then I went to a 737 first officer, 747 here in Taiwan. Then I went back to the Middle East and flew for nine years, became a captain there on a 777. And then uh, once I saw the opportunity that China Airlines was taking direct entry captains, I applied and here I am now. I've been training here for one, for one and a half month now. So I'm undergoing what is called uh, the, the fast transition course. It's a very short course where we have uh, around a month ground school, uh, four fixed base simulators, two full flight simulators, a check, and then you go on your line training, which is relatively short as well. So it's uh, for, for only for pilots who have previous experience on type. At first, when you leave your country as an ex expatriate, you don't know what to expect. It's all very unknown. So it's, it's always a surprise, but once you start blending in, it's, it's very good. You have, to, you have to leave your country with an objective. Either you want an upgrade, you want a better lifestyle, you want to fly a better type. Depending on what you want, it may be right or not for you. For me, um, it was a very fulfilling experience. It's been very fulfilling for the past 13 years and I haven't regretted, for, regretted it for one day. I felt uh, very welcome here. All the, all the training group and the pilots uh, greeted us very well and the scheduling was extremely stable. The block days off and the chance to go on home leave also gives you a very qualitative time with your family. So I knew the China Airlines had the same setup with the home leave and I knew that they had a background with expatriates. They're, very, they're a very experienced company when it comes to expatriates as well. And uh, when I came here, I was actually even more surprised with the way that they greeted us. We were, I was, I was very happy. They were very friendly. So far, I'm halfway through my training. The training was conducted in a very professional manner. It was very good. All my instructors and all the trainers greeted us and received us very well. And uh, we feel very welcome here. So I was uh, kind of, basing my, ex my, my expectations on previous experience and it actually exceeded my experience. My family is now in California. Yeah, we relocated to California and uh, that's one of the reasons why I came here because working for China Airlines, you're able to, to live anywhere you want in the world because you have your home leave for eight days guaranteed every month and after four months you still have your, you start getting your annual leave. So you're guaranteed at least uh, eight or 10 days at home every month so you're able to live, to live wherever you want. 
There's lots to do in Taiwan. If you have the time to come and explore, the nightlife is fantastic. Uh, if you want to eat, you've got every kind of food and uh, different kind of restaurants here. You've got great sightseeing, great uh, mountains, beaches. You have a little bit of everything here. And uh, Taiwanese are very welcoming people. They are very happy to have you here and they are very helpful. So if you're ever lost on the street, if you're looking for direction, somebody will probably approach you and offer you help. And uh, above all, it's a very safe city. I just stay in a hotel. Yeah, currently undergoing training. Uh, Channel Lines uh, provides you with a hotel. And afterwards, uh, you can have your accommodation allowance where you can either find yourself a place to live or you can uh, stay at a hotel at a reduced rate, which is also very convenient because it's just uh, across from headquarters. So you can just cross and you'll be at work. Yep. Yeah, it's very good. And at the airport, actually. So and it's at the airport. Save lots of time. Yeah, that's it's very good. No, I'm, I'm just being totally honest here, and uh, I know I'm, I'm new here. I've been here only for a month and a half, and I haven't experienced much. But so far, I've been very happy with what I've seen, and I would really recommend uh, people who want to have this experience come and join if you are scared, because I know there are many rumors outside that uh, maybe they won't like expats, maybe they don't want you here, and as far as I've experienced, it's the other way around. They are very welcome towards us. We were all uh, very well treated from recruitment to training to management. It's been, it's been a very good experience. My name is Hideo Aoki from Japan. I started my training in May, so it's been about six months right now. I could luckily go into CCQ program with my previous recent 320 uh, flying experience. Initially, I started with the ANA group. I started flying in 1988, served them for 20 years, and then I took the option for the early retirement, which is very, very rarely seen in Japanese uh, pilots community. The reason for the early retirement, I wanted to see outside, and since Japan is the island company, the people's mentality is stay one company forever. I was connected to the management of China Airlines, uh, my ANA previous colleague. One day he phoned up me and they are in an expansion stage. They are looking for the pilots for 330. Based on 320, UK will be on CCQ. That was the initial information. But my uh, final decision made because of the distance. I mean, the Taiwan and Japan, distantly close and culturally close. So that was uh, my final key to open up my decision, actually to finalize my decision to come over here, distant and the culture. China Airlines has a history of uh, recruiting expatriate pilots for a very long time period. So uh, my big surprise was the communication, internal communication inside of the company. I mean the English, they speak fluent English, place to place. Even the engineer, even the pilots, instructors, and the people from administration. So. Uh, the communication in here was just beyond my imagination. Oh, my classmates uh, from France, mm -hmm. and I see the people from the United States, of course, uh, Russian pilots, Indian pilots, Indonesian pilots, Malaysian pilots, Korean pilots, from all over the world. Uh, I think in China Airlines, I think if 330s are flying the best part. <laughs> this is my point of view, because you are doing long haul to Rome sometimes, long haul to Hawaii, and long haul to several destinations in uh, uh, Australia, like uh, Sydney, uh, Brisbane. Uh, recently, we recently started up Melbourne flights. So these are like 10 hours flights. And on the other hand, you have a short distance flight into various, most of the major city into, into Japan, Korea, Mainland China, this is expansion, great expansion we are facing up by the sub many destinations in mainland China, Hong Kong, and uh, the Asian countries like uh, Bangkok, Jakarta, Singapore, uh, Kuala Lumpur, and such and so and so on. So you have a kind of a short distance flight and then long haul mixed uh, together in a 330. Most uh, typically I got one or two long ones in a month and then uh, short sectors in between. So what I'm doing is almost like 20 to 25 sectors a month, which means I spread the sectors with the first officer. I can do around 10 to 12, something like that, landing a month. 
which satisfies me, uh, satisfy me a lot. Uh, since I'm staying at the hotel after my release, instead of renting place here in Taiwan, because I'm uh, commuting, kind of like contract says based in Taiwan, but Osaka is just two hours away from here. So I'm doing commuting, staying at the hotel at the, uh, in, front of the, in front of this company building, two minutes away from here and very easy to show up. Sometimes you can apply for this eight days, eight days, we call it back to back uh, to get the six day and days off. Or even you can spread it into the two parts, which is not stated in a contract, but you can talk to the fleet man. Yes, the scheduling is very flexible. And again, the fleet office is uh, doing their maximum effort to locate the leaves for the expected pilots to put the leaves around at this Christmas and New Year and then try to locate other uh, uh, nation pilots uh, for their New Year's to come in February. We have a system called ECM, Extra Crew Member Travel, and this is a free one. Uh, for instance, I have eight days annual, uh, eight days, block days off in a month. I am uh, eligible to go back to Japan, right? So the very first day of starting your, uh, uh, the block days off, uh, based on your request, company will arrange uh, the business class, uh, of course for free, and booked one. Uh, you can choose your, uh, uh, your, uh, your the flights, and there are uh, uh, six airports can be nominated near your original or origin. Let's say I'm from Japan, right? I can nominate Osaka, Tokyo, Sapporo, Fukuoka, Okinawa, those destinations. I can nominate into the system and then before your block days off, you apply through the computer. So basically, travel on the business class is arranged by the company without nothing. After six months of joining company, we will use this uh, ZED, it's uh, employees travel. And most of the major airlines are covered. It's the same system all over the world. English level uh, for not only the cockpit crew, but the uh, uh, cabin crew and an engineer and dispatchers are very high compared to Japanese standard. So I don't have any problem communicating with them. And in Japan, we have an old saying that you have to wait three years to sit on the stone floor to see the entire picture and you have to have five years to get this stone passage over you. So kind of like, uh, you know, you need to wait a little bit. This is a, uh, the Japanese culture, but here, I didn't have to wait this for years because you can feel the feedback from the people, instinct, uh, the feedback. So this is what I'm enjoying very much uh, compared to Japanese flying. Basically, let me introduce myself. I'm Captain Ding Yang, uh, VP of Fly Operations, China Airlines. And China Airlines have a 58 years uh, history. And currently, we are mostly influential company in Taiwan aviation community. Currently, we got about 85 aircraft, but we're going to have uh, two more 777 coming next year, and uh, 14 more uh, Airbus 350 uh, coming in, in the next uh, two or three years. So totally, it's going to be 100 very soon. About the uh, pilot, we have uh, 11, more than 1,100 pilots currently, but uh, we need a lot of expatriate pilots. That's why uh, you guys are here to hire more pilots in, into uh, 1,400 numbers in, until maybe year 2017. So very, we need a pilot uh, uh, badly. Okay, currently we have about uh, uh, seven to eight percent of expatriate pilots come over the world. Okay, they, are, they have uh, Western people, they have uh, Oriental people. And uh, in China Online, our uh, professional language is English. So in the cockpit, you have, well, we have no problem to communicate, sharing the experience in English. And the, all of our menu and the, our, uh, our CRM course, we uh, dedicate on to encourage people using the so-called multi culture concept to, uh, to go through our life uh, on the line. So uh, I think uh, we have uh, some people, uh, they've never been in Taiwan before, but once they uh, come to Taiwan, uh, the final result is they move their family here. Their kids study Mandarin here. 
they are very happy. Some, so some kids, they can speak uh, Spanish, they can speak English, and uh, very fluent Mandarin. For example, we got uh, two or three Venezuela pilots. Uh, their kids become his translator when they are on, uh, on the street. You know, they can speak excellent Mandarin and they speak excellent as, uh, Spanish to his parents. We, our aircraft uh, fly to uh, 29 countries all over the world, about uh, 100 and 110 destinations. Some of them are passengers, some of them are cargoes. So uh, that's about our size. And uh, the total employee uh, global wide uh, for China Online, work for China Online is about uh, 13,000. Uh, China Online, uh, over the last 10 years, we have uh, excellent uh, flight records. We passed uh, IOSA and, and uh, enhanced IOSA as well last year. So uh, if, if we are using any international standard to uh, evaluate the flight safety uh, status currently, it's uh, very good. In China Online, we are hungry. We're expecting to have a 747. We have uh, Airbus uh, 330 and uh, 340 and uh, Boeing uh, 737-800 plus uh, Boeing uh, 777. Pilot. Uh, of course, we were going to have uh, 350, but those pilots will uh, transfer from our Airbus fleet, uh, starting from actually it started already. Some of them got tag rated already. In pilot group, you cannot just increase the numbers. Okay, I can hire maybe 200, maybe initial graduated ATPL pilot, but we have to make the experienced uh, density higher. So that's why we need some uh, experienced expatriate pilot who got type reading, who got airline experience before to join us to increase the so-called experience density inside uh, our pilot community. As long as his performance, his physical condition is good, I think he can create his own uh, here forever. For example, we have uh, one uh, uh, South America pilot. He worked for China Airlines for 20 years, up to date now. Yeah, we, we, we still keep on him. Some, when the company uh, uh, think it's necessary, we'll move a uh, pilot from one fleet to another. Okay, we will, currently we will not uh, exactly to identify your expatriate pilot, you are local pilot. We just think everybody's got a fair chance, everybody have the same position. A lot of uh, pilots, uh, when they join China, they are first officer, 744, 330, 738. Yeah, when, the, when their performance are okay, when the seniority are okay, they are upgraded. Uh, from three months to, uh, from your uh, application send, we, we receive your app, app, uh, application. We need uh, to survey their uh, certificate, we do the physical examination, we do the interview, we do the test. Uh, we, we, we are not satisfied yet. We try to accelerate the uh, process because uh, we need people. That, that's, that's, that's our problem. We, we, need, we, we need a pilot. We are not put you there and say, okay, let's keep in touch. No. Once you send in, I say, okay, here's your days to come. Here's your day for examination. Here's your day for physical check. Bang, 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 bang. Taiwan is a lovely, lovely country. And we are very uh, friendly to any foreigners. Okay, you can check on the website. Everybody is very happy in Taiwan. And uh, our security uh, situation is very good. Anybody can walk down the street at the middle of the night, 2, 3 a.m. in Taipei City, you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, so I'm not going to encourage people, you know, have fun until 2 or 3 a.m., but that's the me meaning of uh, we are a very secure country, and uh, the living expense is not very high. We have uh, the best Chinese cuisine in Taiwan, and of course, we have a uh, lot of uh, ex uh, foreign uh, Cuisines like Italian, like even we got a Russian restaurant in Taiwan.
Dear pilot, you are more than welcome to join China Online in a very short period of time.